Antibiotics came into general use over 60 years ago and continue to be prescribed throughout the world. Since then, many different types of antibiotics have been developed to treat infections. However, the ever-widening use of antibiotics has led to an escalation in infections that are resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance is now so widespread that the World Health Organization regards antibiotic resistance as one of the major current global health crises. A good example of a bacterium that has become very resistant to most antibiotics is Klebsiella pneumoniae, associated with serious respiratory tract infections, often with fatal consequences. All around the world, respiratory tract infections caused by Klebsiella pneumoniae are becoming increasingly untreatable. We are now left with a shrinking number of antibiotics with which to treat patients. To counteract the worldwide phenomenon of growing antibiotic resistance, the European Commission launched 15 research projects in 2014. This represents an investment of more than 90 million euros. Among the 15 projects chosen is PneumoNP, fighting global respiratory tract infections using Klebsiella pneumoniae as an example. The project gathers together 11 partners from six European member states. They will collaborate for four years to develop a novel solution to the problem of antimicrobial resistance. The consortium comprises research institutes, a medical university, small and medium businesses and clinicians. NumoNP's researchers are looking for a way to maximize the efficiency of existing antibiotics by using tiny particles called nanocarriers. The nanocarriers will be attached to several different types of old and new antibiotics, thereby forming nanosystems. These nanosystems will be tested for toxicity and efficiency, then developed into an inhalable drug complete with inhaler. At the same time, a diagnostic kit will be produced to help identify the right bacteria in a shorter period of time. The fight back against antibiotic resistance has started. The global health sector needs European-funded initiatives such as PneumoNP to counteract this potentially catastrophic threat to mankind. We need to act today in order to avoid a post-antibiotic era where the simplest of infections cannot be treated by any available antibiotics. To follow the progress and results of the PneumoNP project, please visit www.pneumonp.eu.